हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू वेलकम बैक टू योर चैनल ब्रिलियंट माइंड फाइनीरो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो यू विल बी स्टडिंग पार्ट्स ऑफ अ प्लांट विद मी ओके दैट्स द लेसन सिक्स फ्रॉम योर बुक लिविंग साइंस शुड वी स्टार्ट नाउ ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील बी सॉल्विंग द एम सी क्यूज मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन रेडी फर्स्ट दिस इज द ए पार्ट टिक द करेक्ट आंसर in addition to the stem branches leaves and buds the shoot of a plant bears dash what does it bear flowers and roots fruits and roots flowers and fruits yes come on tell me which is the correct answer the correct answer is c part flowers and fruits okay let's move to the question number 2 we eat the leaves of this plant the options are potato tomato spinach yes the correct answer is spinach yes do you like spinach it's very healthy it's very good for your eyes so do eat it regularly okay now third point the stem of this plant is soft green and weak the three options are neem coconut and money plant yes what do you think which is the correct answer yes you are right the correct answer is money plant is, is this plant is very soft and it's green and it's weak also okay now let's move to question number 4 the leaf of a plant is called it dash what is it called bathroom kitchen or bedroom yes the answer you know very well it is called the kitchen because food is made in the leaf of a plant okay now the last of this question number 5 most fruits have these inside them what are these beads seeds or seeds the correct answer is b part seeds yes most of the fruits have seeds inside them okay do you eat fruits which fruit is your favorite do write in the comment okay i would like to read your answer okay now let's move to b part in this you have to match the statement with the correct picture see here five pictures are given below and five statements are here first says it fixes the plant in the soil it takes water from the root to the leaf and keep in your mind you have to match okay it makes food for the plant it changes into a fruit it grows into a new plant so first point is it fixes the plant in the soil what is it these are called roots now second point it takes water from the root to the leaf what is it it is a stem this is called stem now third point it makes food for the plant the answer is leaf yes you see leaf here this makes the food for the plant it is called the factory of plant okay food factory now number 4 it changes into a fruit the answer is the correct picture is flower this is the correct answer flower changes into a fruit number 5 it grows into a new plant what are these these are seeds seeds grow into a new plant okay now let's move to part c that is in which figure are the parts of the plant correctly labeled see here figure a figure b and figure c let us match all these three and find out the correct one labeled in figure a you see uh, is it a flower no and this is not a bird wrong in c this is and this is fruit is it a fruit no wrong so and this is a bird no so many are wrong in a and c now let's check b in b it is everything is correct see here bird flower see this is a bird this is a flower this is a branch then fruit then leaf then stem and last in the last there are roots so figure b is the correct one now d part read the clues and unscramble the letters to get the names of the parts of the plant you have to unscramble these words 
these alphabets, these letters, and you will get the correct name for the part of the plant. Okay? Write the names on the blanks. Here you have to write the names in the blanks. First, it grows above the ground. It makes the food for the plant. Most plants grow in the, into these, and the fourth one is it grows below the ground. Okay. First, it grows above the ground. The answer is stem. You have unscrambled it. Second, it makes the food for the plant. It is called a leaf. Third, most plants grow into these. These are fruits. It grows below the ground. This is called root. Okay, done. Now let's move to next E part. Fill in the right words in the empty boxes. Tap root is found in dash dash. You are given two blanks here and only one answer is given to you. That is balsam. You have to think about these two. Another, another, another two examples. And here we eat the stem of ginger. Only one answer ginger is given to you. You have to think about two more names. Okay. What are these? Have you thought? Okay. Let's answer. Yes. Now, tap root is found in carrot, radish and balsam. And we eat the stem of onion, potato and ginger. Correct. Now, answer these questions. This is the F part in your book. See the boys thinking what are the answer of these? How is the root of a plant different from its shoot? We have to differentiate root and shoot. Second, write two functions of the root. Third, what are the uses of the stem? Number four, what does a seed need to grow into a plant? So first question, how is the root of a plant different from its shoot? See here in the picture also, the, pa the part of the plant which grows above the ground, see here above the ground, is called shoot. The part of the plant which grows below the ground. See this part? So it is called the root. Second question. Write two functions of the root. The two functions of the root are the root fixes the plant in the soil. See here in the picture. Second, they take in water and salts from the soil. Clear? So now come to number three. What are the uses of the stem? The stem holds the plant upright, sidha, upright and supports its branches also. Okay. Number four, what does a seed need to grow into a plant? A seed needs air, sunlight and water. And you can write sunlight or warmth also. Okay. So these three things are required by a plant to by a seed to grow into a plant. Now, what is photosynthesis? A green leaf makes food for the plant with the help of air, water and sunlight. This process is called photosynthesis. See in the picture also. So, it, what are required? Air, water and sunlight. And this process is called photosynthesis. Now, we will learn about the types of fruits. There are basically two types of fruits tap root and fibrous root. What are the examples of tap roots? Carrots, turnips, radish and beetroot. You must be eating these things. Okay. Occasionally you must be eating radish or beetroot. And fibrous roots, the examples are grass, banana, wheat, rice and maize. Now what are the tap roots and fibrous roots? You can see in the picture also, see here grass is growing and in below the ground you see the fibrous roots here. And the tap root you can see above the ground. These are the tap roots. Okay. Carrots, turnip, radish, these are examples. Now, what are tap roots? Tap roots are the roots that have boss main root. That is the carrots, turnips, radish and beetroot. Fibrous roots are the roots that have no main root. They only have hair like roots. Like grass, banana, wheat, rice and maize. You will be remembering the pictures. Then it will be very clear for you. What are tap roots and what are fibrous roots. Okay. Now the horse question. What is the full form horse? You know that? Yes or no? High order thinking skills. First, if mangoes are eaten in June, what when will you see flowers on the mango tree? In February or July, 
we will see your flowers on the mango tree in February. So this is the end of your lesson. I have I have fully discussed the exercise with you, students. I hope you must have learned the lesson very well. Okay, bye bye. Take care. Enjoy yourself. We'll meet in the next video very soon. Bye bye.